hair standing straight up no matter what you do. And we're not talking about a bad scare or a bad hair day, but it's called something, uh, it's something called uncombable hair syndrome. As Cakes Pilar Pedraza shows us, it's, it's very rare and a local girl has it. Yeah. <laughs> Emery Peterson is almost three years old. Like any other toddler, she's full of energy and very clear about what she likes and doesn't like. But when it comes to her head of bright blonde hair, she's almost unique. Basically, she just has crazy hair is what it looks like <laughs> all the time. You pull up Google images, yeah. they all look the same. She has what's called uncombable hair syndrome, hair that's different at the genetic level. Scientists say they've only documented about 100 cases around the world. What do you think about your hair? It's crazy and um, goopy. <laughs> Sometimes also called spun glass hair, due to the genetic changes, the shaft is actually a triangle with grooves up and down it. That's what makes it so unmanageable. One, two, three. <laughs> it's so rare, Emery's pediatrician had never heard of it. It wasn't until her mom, Taylor, took her in for her first haircut that her hairdresser recognized it. It was growing in super weird and the hairstylist I had told her that and she was like, no, she was like, she has uncombable hair syndrome. And I was like, what's that? It's like, that's not a real thing. So Taylor was excited when she saw this story on our website about a little boy in Georgia with the same syndrome. We get a lot of comments about him looking like a dandelion and that's actually like a very accurate description of appearance and how it feels. His hair is extremely soft. So Taylor reached out to us, wanting the world to know that's what her daughter has too. It's oh. something that's really cool. I mean, I have never heard of it before we found out she had it and it was kind of cool to see another little, another little kid have it. And Taylor says getting the word out is also important to help people understand. Yeah. While most who see Emery's hair are just curious, some are judgmental, even mean. Mainly, it's just, oh wow, her hair is really wild. Or they'll, I mean, just last year, we had somebody standing behind us in line and they were being quiet about it and had said, that girl does not take care of her hair. But so far, Emery hasn't really noticed. It matches her personality, that's for sure. Uh, crazy uh, hair, crazy attitude. Kids with uncombable hair usually grow out of the syndrome around the time they hit puberty. In the meantime, Taylor says there's not much you can do as far as styling the hair. You just love it the way it is. Pilar Pedraza, Cake on Your Side.